Hi, this is Judd with Presenter Media. Right now I'm going to be going over how to use the Animation Painter inside PowerPoint. So let's get started. Right now I'm on Presenter Media and I've downloaded a PowerPoint template called Lightbulb Slants PowerPoint Designs. Um, it's all animated, ready to go, but I'm going to show you how you can paint animation from one slide to another using this template. So I've got it downloaded and I've got it loaded into PowerPoint. Um, right below this video, the, there's a link um, that you can download the file. And in that file, you'll just have the first slide, which we're going to work with here. So this, this slide is all animated. All the elements are animated. So we need to take off the animation so we can learn kind of how to how to use the uh, animation painter to paint the animation back onto elements. So if I right click on this slide and click duplicate slide, um, I'm going to take all the animation off every element on this duplicated slide. So if I, if I hit control A, it's going to select everything on the slide. You may need to select an element on the slide first and then hit control A. You can also just zoom out really far and drag a selection over everything. You want to make sure that you, you get everything. There's, there's an element with a big bounding box around it. So, um, control A is a good way to do that. Uh, let's see here. Okay. And sometimes they don't center quite right, uh, when there's a big element with a big bounding box. So, um, you can just use the, the scroll bars here to kind of center your your work area back work area back okay so i'm going to hit hit control a go up to animations in the top menu bar and then in this animation presets area right here i'm going to click none and that will take off all the animation on all these elements here so if i click or if i go to slideshow and click uh play from current slide, you'll see that there's no animation except for this background image, which is not actually in the normal view of PowerPoint. It's in the slide master. So um, we're just going to leave that for now uh, just to save time on this tutorial. And okay, let's get started. I'm going to go to the first slide and I'm going to go to uh, the animations um, option in the main menu and go to animation pane. And uh, I can expand this out if I want. You see, uh, I can s I have a whole list of animations that are on all these elements here. Uh, the first animation is layout body. That's this this image that I talked about. We're not going to do anything with. So I'm just going to move down one from the layout body and find where that that um, let's see where that element is where that object is on the slide. And I think it's this big rectangle. Yeah, it's this big rectangle here. And I'm going to paint the animation from this onto this slide here. So if I click Animation Painter, which is underneath Animations, uh, to the right of the presets, Animation Presets, if I click that, it'll, it'll highlight, and you'll see a, a paintbrush by the cursor or the mouse. And if I click on the second slide, and if I click on this object, it copies the animation right over from this element that's animated. Now is on the animation is on this element that was not animated and is now. Um, just make sure that you don't click on the text because this text has a bounding box around it. And if you click on that, it's going to add the, the animation on that. Um, let's, let's keep copying some animation here. I'm going to go to the next uh, one down here and you can kind of see what's selected by this little, uh, box right here. Um, each animation has one on it. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell what's selected because they kind of jumbled together here. Uh, but one easy way to do that is just kind of click around where it's highlighted and it looks like this is the next one, um, in the list of animations. So, I'm going to go back up to Animation Painter, click on that, go down and copy that over, 
And I'm just going to go back and forth and do that and find, oh, that's right down here. I'm going to click on this shape, Animation Painter. Go back and forth. What's the next one? I think, it, okay, here it is. I think it's the logo. Yep. So the logo has two animations on this element. You can add multiple animations on a on an element to get a different uh, animation look to it. So if I play this, you'll see that that bounces in and kind of settles. That's just two animations make it do that. So if I click the animation painter on the logo and then click the other logo on the other slide, it'll copy that over. It'll copy both the animations that are on that, which is very helpful if you have some cool um, elements that have uh, multiple effects on them. You don't have to uh, reinvent the wheel. You can just copy it over and save you some time there. That's kind of what this whole tool is about, saving time uh, with animation. Um, let me show you a technique here, or uh, an option, I guess, with the, the animation painter. I'm going to just add some shapes here. add three shapes there and let's say I want to put animation on all these shapes um, using the animation from the logo if I go to the animation painter if I double click it um, there's no really way to tell if it's activated but um, it's going to activate a multiple painting mode where I can paint or paint the weights to multiple things so I'll show you here with the, now, with the animation painter turned on, I can click multiple elements without having to go uh, re-click the animation painter option up there. So, just a way to speed things up a little bit if you're painting multiple um, objects with the same animation. I'll just delete that slide. And really, that's, that's all for this uh, tutorial, um, quick and easy. If you want to continue on painting the weights or weights the uh, animation painter, painting the animation from the animation painter, uh, just kind of follow along with me and um, we'll finish up. Otherwise, you can just, uh, yeah, go start trying to copy your own animations and, and start saving time. Okay, so the next one in line, I think, is this. Oh, it is the text right here, it looks like. So I'm going to select the text, go to Animation Painter, and that should come in. Okay, I'm going to go back to the first slide and find the next element. Looks like it's this big element. Sometimes I just drag the element over to make sure I have the right one selected, and then I just click Undo, uh, which is Control-Z, just to put it back where it was. So I'll click Animation Painter, Paint that animation go back ah you see how it gets off centered um, <clears throat> I'll just kind of use the scroll bars to center it here again and let's see I'm gonna yep got that selected select the smaller element underneath that bigger element and oh I gotta go back up to the first slide click animation painter Paint that animation. That's good. Okay, so let's click back and forth. Looks like that's it. I got I got it all. Let's uh let's preview what we have now. If I go to slideshow in the top menu and go to um, play from current slide, everything should come in perfectly. Yep. So quick and easy way to paint um, animation from one slide to another and you can um, kind of just save slides that have animation you like, and when you create presentations and that need animation, you can just um, load in that slide or copy that slide into your presentation and then start painting the weights from, from that slide um, onto slides that need animation and then delete that slide out um, when you're done. And uh, Presenter Media has a a full library of animated PowerPoint templates, which you could uh, use to copy animation from, or just use the slides. They're all pre-made, ready to go, 
um, all animated uh, to bring your presentations to life and engage your audience more. So, yeah, this is all for this tutorial. Thanks for um, following along with me, and we'll see you on uh, another tutorial. Bye.